So growing up, I always knew that I wanted to join the Army. Um, my older brother and I shared the same passion that after high school, we would join the Army just as our father did. Um, my brother, Timothy Ray Vamoto, um, he graduated high school in 2006. He was a 6'2 football athlete, and my parents had dreams that he would uh, go to college, play ball, but he wanted to join the fight with my dad. He wanted to join the army, follow his footsteps, and he thought it was his time to serve. So he enlisted, 11 Bravo, uh, went to airborne school, eventually showed up to 173rd um, over in Vicenza, Italy. So in May of 2007, um, they got ready for a 15-month deployment. And within that first month, 5 June 2007, he was KIA in the Korangal Valley of Afghanistan. I think anybody that's known my brother has just known him to be a big, loving teddy bear. Tall, big, stocky guy, kind of looks intimidating, but super calm, cool, and collective. Loves sports, loves his family, loves God. I will say this about my brother. Growing up, every Halloween event, my dad took us, you know, units have Halloween events, right? He always dressed up in my dad's BDUs, camouflage paint, boots and everything, and won about half of all the competitions. So like, he was built to join the army. And then about my junior year in college, I decided to, this is when my dad took over the 18th Airborne Corps as Command Sergeant Major, his last position before retirement. And he said within his command, he was going to deploy one more time to Afghanistan. And that's how he wanted to end his career, just go back there because there was a sense of my brother on that side um, where he was killed in Afghanistan. So I was a junior in college and I said, how cool would it be if I just joined? And somehow I got to be in your unit. I didn't know how the Army works, so me just saying, oh, I can just come to your unit and I can deploy with you that last time because he was deployed with my brother. And obviously my dad didn't come back with my brother, so sentimental for me. We could just ride out this last ride. I know that that's not the professional term, but father-daughter. And we could come back together. And a year later, I was in the 18th Airborne Corps single company, and I deployed to Afghanistan with my dad. We did the deployment, we came home, and I thought I was just gonna write out the contract and get out. But I think I developed a passion, so I re-enlisted. Three re-enlistments later, here I am, nine years, going on 10, and definitely have a passion for being in the Army. And I think I have a passion for leadership and leadership development. When you're an NCO in charge of soldiers, I think it builds confidence. Um, and respect and trust. The more I've been around soldiers and NCOs and other leaders, um, that's where I grew the passion to be a leader, on leadership, on being an NCO and taking care of soldiers and actually living out the NCO creed, you know? Because it ain't for everybody. Being an NCO is not for everybody. But I think when it is the passion of yours, it's authentic, it's sincere and it's genuine. So in my free time, I like to hang out with my kids. I love being a mom. I'm a single mom to three little little rugrats, ages four, five, and six. Being a single mom, it consumes the majority of your time. So when we get off work, rush home to my second job, motherhood, um, and it's just school things, you know, homework. On the weekends, we'll go out to the beach, to the bounce house, things like that. Uh, but my kids also love to watch movies to cook, bake, so that consumes a lot of my free time. I'm proud of the work that I've done so far in my career. I look forward to the future endeavors and what's to come, and I'm 
honored to be serving in our world's greatest army.